Alright, I just picked up this excavator. I guess it would have been funny. This looks just like my other one. It would have been funny like if I just pretended my excavator shrunk or something. But this was a pretty good deal. I couldn't pass it up. I got this excavator. I got a hammer. And this trailer. I paid $13.4 for the whole thing. So I picked it up last night. And I didn't really even try it out yet. I haven't even seen it off this trailer. So let's uh, let's pull it off the trailer and give the thing a try. All right, so since I got the dirt bucket on it, let's go try to dig something. So I'm just noted, I didn't even look at the hours when I bought this thing, but uh, it's about 8,700. That's up there, but that's barely even broken in for a yarn mar. lift up function. Alright, so you can see I had a few rub throughs right there and one starting right there. Alright, that wasn't too bad. So let's get a new hose and get this fixed. Alright, so the other issue that I noticed with this machine 
the blade on it. This is the control for the blade. It comes up fine. When you go to go down, it doesn't have any power, and I think it's just out of adjustment. I don't think this is throwing all the way. So let's see if we can get that adjusted properly. Now I can see it works off like a cable. I just got to find out where it's going. All right, actually, I think it's just out of adjustment right there. See how they have it adjusted pretty much all the way the one direction? And I think that's too far. It needs to be more in the center. Oh. Turn this nut, this top nut up. Probably doesn't need much, probably right there is fine. All right, I just found this one too. This was right down the road. The guy was retiring. So I just picked it up for 11.7. I thought that was a pretty good deal for this model. This thing is pretty new. It does have about 10,000 hours on it, which a lot of people would consider extremely high, but I don't, I'm good with it. So some people might question why have three excavators that are about the same thing and they may even consider it hoarding. I think it's worth it. The, you know, some of the advantages of having a few machines are like, sometimes I'd be moving a machine off a job to go to an, another job to move it back to the job. So, the, you know, having a few of these things could help not have to move them around so often. Um, this one's nice. It's got the enclosed cab. Normally, I wouldn't like that, but there's probably some situations where, you know, if it's raining out or if it's cold, that could be comf more comfortable with the enclosed cab. So, all right, let's uh, let's go test this one out.
still a lot of stump attached to it. I've spent probably a good 45 minutes running this machine. I like it a lot so far. You know, I like how the controls are laid out. The hydraulic thumb is really nice. I like that there's no electronics in it. You know, like even the thumb control on this is a foot pedal instead of a uh, button on the joysticks because those electronics never seem to work that well. All right, well, this video was meant to be about that Yanmar. You know, not even about this thing. I, I mean, my friend only told me about this last night. He's like, hey, there's this excavator for sale. You should go buy it. And, uh, you know, I just kind of bought it. So, all right, let's go uh, finish working on that Yanmar. All right, so here's the new hose here. And I got this cover on it to keep it from wearing through again. That started. Jeez, did this guy make this hose too long or something? It'd be nice if that was a few inches shorter. I know it was going through that hole. Try going down here with it. All right, that's started up top again. All right, seems like it's on there pretty straight. Yeah, 
That looks like that's going. All right, that's the... All right, that's fixed. Let's top off this hydraulic oil. And this thing here, this is the vent for the hydraulic system. Someone just stuck, this needs to be changed. That's actually pretty important that that vent be there because it keeps a little bit of pressure on the system. And this is the thing here to tell how much oil's in it. All right, so you can start to see it. There's a red ball that floats in here and it should be right about in the center. This is a pin-on system here, so the quick change would be much more desirable. I know that they're kind of convertible too. That's I might try to do that at some point. I mean, now that I have so many machines, I could just leave the hammer on this one. Pins different lengths. Oh. These pins are way too short. I, I do not know why. I'm going to try to order the right pins for this thing. Almost 40 millimeter or an inch or an inch and a half. be about 10 inches see I could make these too the only thing that's special about these is they're greasable so I'd have to it'd be nice to use a lathe really you drill this in then drill a hole all the way through and that's the grease port right there where the grease would come out all right I know this isn't the way to do this but I want to try this thing
All you gotta do is keep an eye on this. If it starts to come out, you wanna stop running it because these ears can get all bent up if these pins come out. Terrible, but uh, let's try it. or something. All right, this rock here, when I was digging this road in, I was trying to have the road over as far as possible, but that's kind of what stopped me. So let's see if we could break that out of there. And I tried digging that with my 100 and everything. That type of rock is pretty hard rock. Well, well, that seems like that's working fine. I've, I've rented hammers in the past. That's about, you know, the performance you'd expect out of them. This type of rock is very hard rock. I'm sure if a little more practice, I'll get better at running it too. Um, this really isn't a priority right now. It's like, oh, it's not worth, you know, I'm sure if I spent hours on this with two machines, one pulling the, the, the rock away and one hammering, I could get this all out of here, but that doesn't need to be done. I have a couple other spots that actually need hammering. So let's go do that. I got this stump here. I know hammers aren't really meant for this, but let me try something.
right, maybe that wasn't the best idea. I'm gonna try it with a hardwood instead. This is pine, it's soft. You know, I was trying to split it. It was thinking about it, but it, this wood is so soft. All right, here's a spot that legitimately needs hammering. So there's water runs down the left side of this driveway here. But the problem is I have this ditch on the left the problem is right about in this spot, right here, the I couldn't get the ditch any deeper because there was rock and, and about half of the water makes it into the ditch and the other half runs right here and ends up digging, messing up the driveway because then it doesn't make it back into the ditch for the entire length of the driveway. So let's see if we could take this hammer and hammer out this area right in here to keep all the water onto the left side. So right about here, it's okay. This is where the problem is. the other machine to dig that out of there.
right, so that looks pretty good. Now you can see all the water. There's a, you know, it hasn't rained in a few days, but there's a little bit of water running right here. And the ditch is quite a bit lower now than the entire road. So there should be no reason for the water to jump out of that. Plus, I think using the material that came out of the ditch on the roadway raised the road up too, so that helped. All right, so I'll keep this video nice and short. You know, it's just kind of meant to be a uh, introduction to these two new machines added to the fleet. So I'm pretty happy with them. There's 18,000 hours here between the two of them, which a lot of people would consider extremely high, but price certainly reflected that. So uh, I guess time will tell how they really are, but you know, they both seem pretty good as it is. Now I might do another video on some maintenance on them. You know, they both could use a service on this Yanmar here. The only problem that's standing out is that with the with the blade I'm not quite sure what's going on with that I almost think you know this hammer was added as an accessory so maybe when someone added that they did something to it and messed it up you know I'd be curious to know if that happened after that but another thing that would be cool to do to this is this Kubota here it's got a quick change bucket so I'll show you what that's like See, all you do to take this bucket off, it's really easy. You pull this, this, see how nice of a system that is? One person can easily switch between different buckets or a hammer. Or anything so I see that these were available these weld on tabs shaped like that online so that's no problem that wouldn't even be that hard to make too I don't know this is about one inch steel or three-quarter inch steel to just cut out that shape now on this end here I mean gee I don't see why I couldn't just Add that same system to this machine. This tape is hiding it, but. All right, that's definitely in the list of things I wanna do. If anyone has any, I mean, it'd be nice to just buy all the stuff instead of having to make it, but if anyone knows where this stuff is available, let me know, I, I'd do a video on that. That's much easier than a pin-on system. So that would be really cool to install that system on this machine and even my other Yanmar, which is about the same size, because then I could switch from you know the buckets really easily. This pin-on system that this has now is it's kind of hard to do, especially by yourself. If every one of these machines I had had this system, I think that'd be a lot nicer. And I know that's doable. The other thing I kind of want to do is add a thumb to this machine. And I know everyone's going to say, oh, make it a hydraulic thumb. So it's actually, you know, it's got the plumbing here for this hammer. And it's got the two quick couplers. Just like this machine has. And that hammer would probably plug right onto this machine too. That'd be interesting if this machine could run the hammer. But with this, I think the way they have it plumbed is one of these lines can provide pressure and the other one's just a return line and there's nothing because you can see in this machine this is the thing here to make a hammer and there's no you know double it only goes the one direction so if we go to the Kubota This is 
is the control that makes the thumb move on the Kubota. So we have that direction, and then this, and then this direction to move the thumb each direction. So, you know, the Yanmar isn't set up that way. So the other thing I'm going to do too, that I didn't put these panels back on yet because I'm going to pressure wash this out really well. It's really dirty in there. So it would be neat to add a hydraulic thumb to this machine, but it may just end up as a manual thumb. Which I don't mind a manual thumb at all. I'm used to running that. They work fine. Alright, so I'm definitely happy with these two machines. Time will tell how they really are, but... You know, here's to a, a good... Good start of the 2019 season.